with all this green you know we're not in las vegas we're in twin falls idaho we're about to pick up my brother-in-law carlo aka mr dimples still single got some inquiries last time maybe you'll follow through this time so he was pointing out the door somebody didn't put their vehicle in park and ran right through it so they're upgrading pretty soon when we got there i was a little disappointed that they ran out of rice krispies but thanks to the manager he said hold up give me a minute let me whip some fresh ones thank up you. thank you java hut yeah, is a place to do. go to look at these giant rice krispies with my little burger king hands they make them look so big and they're so gooey so fresh and so tasty all right we're going in through the vip entrance of vincent de paul let's go folks this is back way carla Is your light on on your phone? Oh, oh large purses, backpacks, left at the front. Dennis. That's a pickleball. I think this is a do squats resistant bands on there. What is that, Carlo? It's like a slide right there. Machine said. That's acrylic for sure. That is nice. Look at that. I like this. It's numbered 57 of 6. Whoa. Oops. 57 of 650. There we go. Artist Blaine Billman. Levi, you want to go grab me a card, please? <laughs> that never looks right. Most amazing thing happened, ladies and gents. Just ran into two viewers, Sherry, Randy. It was a pleasure meeting you, talking to you, getting to know you. I hope to see you again. And then also when you visit Las Vegas, um, we just got two minutes inside to here at St. Vince de Paul. So looking for more stuff. All right, every time I see hats that even have this look, I always think vintage. And a lot of stuff, just being Idaho, there's always a lot of self-promotion of the companies. Sometimes these are blank. Looks like they're doubles. Little satin souvenir hat. Marcus Adler. Adler sounds familiar. I'm gonna hold on to this. This looks nice. I'll look it up later rather than looking at things that are like everything that you know i'm focusing on it's the things you don't know you really want to learn about and not be so much good at one thing you want to be well-rounded at least i do when it comes to reselling more experience the better <laughs> mike's mikey bags of money street rods oh in california i do like this hat 99 cents oh yeah we're getting this one folks gonna make sure to check the foam the hat sometimes they do look like they're, they're not broken in and you could feel them especially with these soft non-working hands very moisturized there is no breaks in this this is cool really nice old school style got so what is that uh, energy drink sour vintage hats ooh bat governor maybe I should look into that nine cents what is this Parker Control System Division, also an old school corduroy hat. I might just get these because of the price, folks. Let me hold on to these. And this one. Doesn't mean I'm gonna get them. Anything I put in a cart doesn't mean I'm gonna snag them up, but we just got here looking. 
always looking. Team America Human Resources. What's your nut? What's up? You like my man purse? Your man purse? Yeah. I like it. I like it. I don't judge out loud. All right, got some bananas. I was showing my nephew Paisley the pattern and he had found a wristlet and then he came over he's like like this uncle sonny and i was like yep correcto and then right below it like these patterns right here this is the one that really caught my attention and i ended up looking it up because i don't know everything and this should sell for around 15 dollars easily for 99 cents this is a go-getter there's some designs that sell for around 30 bucks i wonder if this one's also itchel made i like this and I'm just gonna oh this one's a dollar ninety nine but I might end up just getting both these are pretty cool yeah, that's part of the set. hmm yeah we'll get both of these now you know what I'm gonna stick to the, this one because it does have the name and tag this helps out a lot all right good brand to look out for tags usually on the side inside usually sits in pretty good where it's marked usually doesn't rub off from what I've seen numbers are usually on the side nice under soles these right here should sell for around 100 130 999 money ceramic buffalo 299 99 cents. Yeah. These used to be so big when I grew up in the, I was growing up in the 90s. Those would be everywhere, especially at festivals, flea markets. Stainless steel. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Ooh. It's by Home Co, I think. Nice little hummingbird. $2.99. Milk glass. I'm here all the time. <laughs> What's that? Sisters. What's the bottom of it? You look it up. Rather than just throwing information at Levi, I like to have him do his part by looking the item up. He and his brother Eli Easy just go straight to Google Lens and I try to always tell them and remind them what else are you needing to, need to look at and the easy reply sold comps and then I ask them with the follow question and how do you look up that and they tell me and they know how to do it so that's what he's doing now we're hanging around we're a few minutes in it's so much to look at and things to find here and on top of that this video isn't the only one we did in Twin Falls Idaho we found an estate sale that we're gonna go to the next day so stay tuned for that video folks thanks for hanging around with us I hope you enjoy it as much as we do looking for stuff G-O-Z laughter. There's something on its head that broke off. I think it was a... Uh, in, in the back. Yeah. Looks like there's wings. Imagine if this little figurine alone wasn't broken. The comps for G-O-Z Lefton are spectacular and they should be on top of your bolo list for items to look for don't overlook the small stuff Whew, that would have been some amazing money
And that skips to me. Some of those, if they're signed, you want to look them up. Yeah. Sometimes they're signed. Right on the other side of the shelf, caddy quarter to it, was this vintage mid-century claw-footed frosted lime green glass dish based on brass base. Whew, that's a mouthful. No wonder it doesn't sell for that much. Around $18. Some people have it listed up to $36. Not very much sales. So it's a pass. Now this little pretty though, this one's beautiful. And for 49 cents, it's going with me and it's gonna be available on Whatnot, which is coming up Monday. I'm gonna have quite a bit of items to choose from and select. And it's gonna help me get into a thousand sales on Whatnot. I'm at 802. It's like an old box right here. Whoa, that's a lot of wax. Just a lot of little waxies. They're still tied. Let me show you. This artifacts rose. Brand new in the box. Since finding these artifacts ink candles and some other ones recently today, that'll be for another video that you get to see. I've been very busy lately, but I've been realizing candles are harder research. It's just not very much information out there. So I got some photos to share with you and videos that you could help me out on that I'm sure many of you have answers to. I ended up seeing this dish and thought, hmm, it looks like silver. Sometimes the number of the silver are just being stamped sterling beyond there. Unfortunately, this one, Gala Onita Company, this one doesn't sell for much, even if it was in better condition. But I thought it was very pretty. And it's worth trying to learn where markings are because they're not always in the place you think they would, like under the stem. This little porcelain vintage kitty, more cats, got my attention. It was just there trying to creep and maybe even leap on me. For $1.99, I'm going to pick this up. It's also made in Japan, and it is marked. So another whatnot item. Right up against the wall is this marigold or carnival glass little dish. Nice sunflowers on the bottom end. Really nice and pretty for $4.00. This will probably get you around 12. If I was against this for a dollar less, two dollars less, I would have probably picked it up and I know it wouldn't have sold very fast or for very much either or. It's still a beautiful piece and nice for the collection if you're just wanting to have things that are pretty around you. As well as this glass piece right here, I ended up looking it up using Google Lens. Take a photo of it, majority of the times it's gonna show you what it's worth. Also another piece that's very beautiful, but not as, it doesn't bring in the value as it is pretty. Maybe another 10, 12 bucks a dollar item. Now here's another one that caught my attention because of the beady eyes. Usually the eyes are different and I'm starting to learn some markings. Have no idea what this one is, but I figured I'll show it because some of you, many of you have answers to things and can teach me whether to look for things or not for things. And it works both ways because sometimes it's like, Sonny, don't get this. Uh, it's a good thing you didn't get that. They're not worth that much and it just guarantees that I'm learning some stuff along the way Especially through you all. So thank you My whatnot stuff what whatnot stuff jewelry All different we'll check it out right now. I'm like drooling over all these glasses and stuff $49.99 that must be a set That Shannon crystal Look at that beautiful thing right here. Handcrafted, mouth blown, made in Poland, eBay 100 bucks. With the information that was on that little piece of paper, I found that they're actually overpriced around 10 bucks. They don't go for very much. Um, beautiful sure. piece. I would have loved to got it sure as for less, paid. but um, it looks like they're looking up listing price and not sold price. So there is a big difference when you're looking at stuff like that. John Deere. Oh, missing it. The cord is probably one of the biggest things for electronics. 
to tell me if something's vintage or not. It doesn't guarantee that it's vintage. Some things are modern and look vintage. But this right here with the top got my attention. Kaz butt warmer, not butt warmer, bun warmer. Well, I guess the, it depends on what buns you're thinking about. But this right here, I thought was really, really cool. I think I remember seeing one of these as a kid for five bucks. This will probably sell for around 20, maybe 25, but an easy 15. If you've been following me for a few months, you know how I feel about vintage lamps. <laughs> I had to get closer. I found that there were quite a bit of vintage items. Now this piece right here has like a crystal or glass handle, which is pretty unique because you don't see that with tools, especially with metal. I think the last time I've seen something crystal was a crystal mouthpiece to a clarinet. And if you come across one of those, especially with bubbles or pink, look it up because it's probably going to be worth at least 50 to to $100, maybe even more. I'm also always looking at sewing machines, and one thing that has been on my list to hunt down has been a chain stitch sewing machine because they can be worth a lot of money. Even if they're broken and not working, the parts alone could get you a lot of moolahs. Now thumbnails, thumbnails, thimbles, my bad. Thimbles are another thing I've been looking out for because a lot more people have been asking, does anybody look for thimbles? And I do. The little heart trinket right there reminds me of a plate that I got in Las Vegas for a couple of bucks. It sold on whatnot pretty fast. So those types of things that sell pretty fast and what look viewers like are thing. even better for me to look for more and more often. Unfortunately, I didn't get it because of the price. Now this one that I saw from across the way inside the store, I just thought, oh my goodness, this is beautiful. I don't think I've ever caught them across one that has blue on it and i just love how the print of the flowers are really strong they're still vibrant and usually they fade out because the lamp is on and it burns from the inside out causing it to fade carlo was pointing out the jewelry earlier saying hey your whatnot stuff and i was like what what whatnot he said the whatnot i was like oh there's a lot of whatnot whatnot going on in here and for 49.99 that is definitely uh whatnot for me and these are just beautiful pieces folks i love to show you this stuff because it just sparks memories at times it's not so much of like hey buy this sell that buy this sell that there's stories to all these items well majority of them and they just make you reminisce about times that you may have almost forgot about if it wasn't for seeing something that you come across or what somebody else shares like me in my videos. For, for a dollar? No, it's like $2.99, $4.99, that kind of thing. And how could the bucks. I'll take Texas. That one right there. It's a nice display. Display case. Thank you. Uh huh. This is pretty. You go thrifting every day then. Every now and then, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of what I do. Yeah, I'll get that. I'll take that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll let you hold it then. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the trust. Well, I only have one hand, so. I see. What happened? <laughs> What'd you do to the other person? Well, that, look what they did to me. Oh. <laughs> Right, a lot of fun. We, it's like the first day here. Hello, folks. First day and found some goodies. I have a feeling I'll be back once or twice before we leave back to Vegas. This art piece right here, I in love with it. Two dolphins, there's a reflection. If you could see it as if the sun's sitting down. Although this is a monochromatic black and white art piece, this is very colorful and spirit almost. Really good matting frame on here. It is signed, it is numbered uh, 57 out of 650. Now you may think that's a, a lot, that's not a lot. When you think about how much people are maybe in your town, how much people are in the States, and then looking at how much people are in the US alone. His art, I'm gonna say, has probably been 
recognized internationally. So with his art that's been out there and a few pieces that I've seen say on eBay being priced as high as $200, it's much different than what I have right here in front of me. This is a really nice all around piece. The frame could be better for the value if it was gonna be four or $500 or more. I think the frame would be making a big difference. So for all of this considered what I have going on, starting off at 300 is a nice price to go fishing for, but I think I'm gonna end up getting around 175 to 150. Now, if I get an offer somewhere that's comfortable for me to accept, and depending how sales are going through the week, I may just accept the offer. But for right now, this is a beautiful piece that I don't mind holding on to for a while. I had no idea what this was other than, wow, that got my attention. And that was good enough for me on top of the gold that's on there and on top of the little hobnail pieces. But the hobnails are a lot different than what I've seen. Some people are calling it sea urchin. Some people have things listed, but I was trying to find something that made me more confident when I decide to list this item, whether it be on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Etsy, I need to jump on because I'm hearing that's really good for hard goods and things that I find and so often. So I'm gonna open up to other things. And of course, this may be available on whatnot, but I ended up asking a friend, Tiffany Thrift in Vegas, who is at nine, or let's just make this easier. She's 500 away from 100,000 subscribers. That is amazing. Kevin Commonwealth Picker just got that and congrats to him. And then there's another person too, the Bearded Thrift Machine. Wow. And he just started not too long ago. He's done amazing things, also giving me pointers. We could all learn from everybody. When you can't figure stuff out, ask a friend. That's the whole point of this community as well. Now, this may not be a huge selling piece, but for $8.99 that I invested it in, I think I could get my money back and then some. But this was just fun to come across and have to say, like, I'm familiar with that. Other things that I picked up are going to give me much more profits than what I think this will. But the attachments and the connections that I have with items are all different. It's not so much of it being a monetary value. Some things are the stories that come along with it and the stories that come along from almost forgetting. And I'm happy that with what I do, it does a lot more than just make it go cha-ching for me and put money in my pocket. It also helps me find things and put it in the right place for people who are looking for stuff like that, that it has so much meaning for. I'm Sunny Las Vegas. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video because in Twin Falls, Idaho, I also went out to a I also went out to an estate sale and that one I had to go to two times. That's how good it was.